What's going on everybody? So right now I'm actually going to sell, or attempt to sell, uh, some DVDs and a couple other things that I have. Mainly just so I can get DMC5 because I love Devil May Cry. It's one of my favorite like video game franchises of all time. Let me just kind of show you what I got here. So one of the first ones, Ninja Batman. I mean, I love this movie, but like at the same time, I have the digital copy already, so like I don't really need it. Since like now Blu-rays, DVDs are kind of like, you know, starting to not be as popular as it used to be anymore, uh, as far as like buying them, you know? Because now everything's digital. Everything, you can just buy it all digitally now, and you can just take your movies wherever you want to go. So that's kind of the reason why I'm doing this. The other one from Batman is uh, the Lego Batman movie. Fantastic movie. I, I really love this one, but I um, also, at the same time, it's a DVD one, so, and I already have a digital copy of this as well, so it's like, you know, and you'll kind of see that throughout all these movies. I actually already have those little sheets that you get, um, all the digital copies, I already have them all, so I just kind of like to clear up space and see what I can get. Uh, it, started, it just started picking up raining, like, pretty hard here. It's funny, as soon as I left my house, it didn't seem like it was going to rain. It just kind of started sprinkling, like, light sprinkling, and then it kind of cleared. And then as soon as I got to half price books, I'm just in the parking lot, downpour, straight downpour. In regards to that, we got... Rides of the Planet of the Apes, um, pretty good movie, I used to watch this with my stepdad all the time, and this is one of his favorite movies from back in the day, um, but for me it's kind of more of like, I, just, I already have it, so yeah, why not? But yeah, then we have anime, <laughs> uh, The Undying, Sunka, uh, Undying Love, Sunka Ray. so this is a pretty good one for the fact of like, I don't know, I kind of like romance animes at the time, and like this one was the one where like, it was just... I just started to buy a lot of romance stuff, and I don't know, I still saw this at Detour like a couple years ago, and I'm like, why not? It's pretty cheap. And then we got Gotcha Man! Gotcha Man the movie! This is pretty cool, because it actually uh, encapsulates kind of the story of Gotcha Man and everything, and, you know, it's kind of sad to see what happens to, like, uh, one of the main uh, hero dudes, but all in all, pretty sweet movie, but I don't, I don't know, I, I don't really, like, I love old school animation, but I think I'm more of, like, Devil Man kind of styles storytelling is kind of what I wanted to do, uh, but this was kind of like, it was okay. I mean, I love the designs that Gotcha Man by themselves, and that's the only reason I bought this movie. Just to kind of get to learn more about Gotcha Man, but I think I love uh, Devil Man in that kind of like old school style a little bit more. For sure, other types of old school animation like Gundam. Then we have Big Bang Season 3, I got Season 5, and then Season 6. Uh, this is the only one I have on Blu-ray, everything else is on DVD. We have Transformers, the movie, which I already have a digital copy, but Steelbook Edition. Uh, they were doing this at Best Buy for like 5 to 20 bucks. Um, I was like, why not? Um, then we have all the Pokemon movies. Well, the first three ones. Pokemon, first movie, 2000, and um, Pokemon, the third movie. So my favorite one out of all these ones is, surprisingly enough, is the third one. Um, and then it goes down sequential order, and then I love the second one, the... the the most after that, and then the first one. Even though the first one has that iconic scene with Ash getting resurrected by all the Pokemon, I thought this was a pretty cool one. Next one on my list is, I know this is like kind of blasphemous, but Seven Samurai. I already have this as a digital copy. This is just the one that I got a long time ago. Uh, just a Blu-ray version of it. I was like, why would you sell that? It's one of the greatest movies of all time. Well, it's because I already, I already have it. I'm not going to sell these ones if I don't have like a backup for it. It's just not like another way to like get money. V for Vendetta, I've got this like cool little 3D effect one where it's like it does that. And in it, I also have like a comic book that came with it, like the first issue of V for Vendetta. Which is kind of cool, but I don't think it's really, it really goes for anything. Another one I got is Unbreakable, uh, the DVD version, not special or anything like that. Unbreakable by uh, M. Night Shyamalan. And obviously Glass came out, so there was like a bundle that came out. Then I have Bad Boys 1 and Bad Boys 2, which already came with a digital copy, so I already have all those things. And I doubt I'm going to be able to sell this, but I have a drawing tablet um, from way back in the day uh, when I first started man like uh, animation illustration processes. This was kind of like the first thing that I was doing was using this uh, to just start doing something. I don't know, just like learning about the media and how to do stuff. And I don't need this anymore because like my laptop already has like a built-in software for all this stuff. And then I got Clip Studios on it, so. I mean, like, it has the touch screen already on it, and it's a really expensive laptop that does everything, so I don't really need this anymore. And then the last thing here is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse soundtrack. I'm not a huge fan of rap, or at least modern-day rap. There are some pretty good cuts on this record, though, that I kind of like, 
like Sunflower obviously being the highlight of this because Post Malone. Uh, I kind of like that alternative kind of style of rap. But honestly, it's more of the, I love the movie. And I love what they did with the songs inside the movie. I think it works beautifully. But the songs by themselves, I'm not really a fan. It's not one of my things. Alternative rap though is a different story all on its own. Like I love that song. What's Up Danger is pretty good. I, I, other than that, it's like nothing else kind of got to me in terms of this record. Like I said, I'm not really much of a big fan of that. But I'm going to see how much I can get for that. And yeah, just kind of go from there. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm going to recap my thoughts when I get in the store and then see how much I get. And then I'll just kind of follow up with that. See you guys in a bit. I did it. I sold uh, all that stuff and I got 45 bucks off of it, which is pretty sweet. Um, so it kind of made it a lot easier for me to buy my game, actually. So now here's this. Finally got DMC5. So not really the main focus of this video. It was mainly to show that like all the stuff that I was selling, how much I could actually sell it for in terms of like the most value you can get from it. You know, either selling it at cheapo records or selling it at half price books. I went to half price books this time just to see like, you know, what was their offer. $45 was pretty good to knock up a big chunk of that, uh, that price for DMC5. Anyway, that was it for me. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go play the crap out of this game and uh, probably not be seen by anyone for the next couple days. Anyway, that was it. Stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, have a good day, and uh, see you later.